Hey, it's Doug, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna be learning about how to make our falsetto sound better. Okay, so my first tip is that I want you to be aware of where the falsetto starts and stops in the phrases that you sing, okay? So I'll do a demonstration of what I'm talking about. If I were to sing the first chorus of the song High and Dry by Radiohead, which goes like this. Don't leave me high. Don't leave me dry. Okay? That's the way the original song is written. You wouldn't want to make a mistake of doing something like this. Don't leave me high. Don't leave me dry. And go to falsetto, for example, on the words there. Leave me, instead of just on the words high and dry. Now, you can do your own interpretation of songs. That's okay. But... When it comes to something like falsetto, if you're trying to cover a song, you've it's going to really serve you if you work out where the falsetto is meant to start and not just guess. So really use your ear to critically listen to the music and work out, oh, it's meant to start and stop right here, and I'm meant to go back to chess voice, for example, in the next line. You know, just be more aware of where the falsetto is meant to start, because a lot of people I see, you know, approach lines in a way that is not very much like the original song. And it actually can cause issues because the way the singer has originally sung it might be very easy to go to falsetto, but where you've started to sing it is actually much harder. It's just an example. All right, let's move on to number two. So what I'm going to share with you today to actually make your falsetto sound better is an exercise which we're going to do in a moment. But what I want you to be aware of here is that we're going to try and get a nice balance of air flowing through the falsetto to sound the best that it can, okay? So what happens if you don't use any air in the falsetto? It sounds kind of like this. It doesn't sound very good. If you use too much air, it would sound like this. You know, the start of that wasn't very smooth either. You've got to get a nice balance so it sounds like this. And that would carry over into the song. So, don't leave me high. If you sang that without any airiness, don't leave me high doesn't really sound high, really that flowy. It's okay, but it's not very flowing and smooth sounding. And if you use too much air, don't leave me high, it kind of loses a quality too. So we're going to try and get it to sound really nice and high, dry, ooh, and flowing with enough air. Okay, so I've got my guitar, and we're going to do the exercise to get the correct amount of air to flow through the falsetto sound. But before we do that, I want you just to follow along to my instructions for the exercise, because we've got to do a little bit of preparation. So I want you to open the mouth and place one hand right here between the cheeks to make sure that the jaw doesn't close, okay? Because we're going to be making an ooh sound, and it's going to sound like this. If you have your jaw closed, and you can see my teeth being shut, it will literally change the sound in a very negative way. It'll sound like this. If you have your jaw open. That's why it's necessary, okay? Now, I want you to, step one, have your hands here and holding the mouth. Then I want you to take a breath with your mouth already open, okay? So like this. Take a breath with your mouth open. Breathing through the mouth, not the nose, for this exercise. The next thing I want you to do is actually sigh. So we've got our hand here, we've taken a breath, and I want you to sigh like this. <sighs> okay? <sighs> All right, that's the next step. Then we're gonna do this. Using that same flowing feeling of the sigh, we're actually gonna do an ooh. Ooh, ah, ooh like that and then sustain the bottom note okay so let's try it first with one sigh and then we'll move to the exercise so go breath sigh and then go so now that you practice the sigh a couple of times I want you to put that same amount of airiness into the falsetto sound that we're about to do so don't overdo it don't go it's just kind of in the middle, like, oh, ooh, okay? 
All right, so let's go from this note, and I want you to sustain the last note. So just copy me if you don't understand what that means. And remember, you're not going with no air, and you're not doing it with too much air either. Nice and in the middle, just like the sigh. Cool, let's keep moving up, we'll do a few more. Breath. Next one. Next one. One more. Alright, good job. Let's move on to the next tip. Now that we've worked on getting the falsetto to have the right amount of airiness in it, what we want to do is try and get it loud enough to match the volume that we need in songs. Because a lot of people struggle with the falsetto not being loud enough. So for example, if they were to sing high and dry, it might sound something like this. Don't leave me but it should be more like this. Don't leave me high. Okay, here's an exercise that I used personally to be able to get my falsetto to sound, you know, nice and loud and where it needs to be because even I struggled with this, you know, not too long ago. We're gonna set up the exercise the same way we just had it with our hands, one on our face, like that, and taking the breath, and we're gonna start here, okay? So start here for me. It's gonna sound like this. We're going to start the first three notes in chest voice and then the high note in falsetto. So what we're going to do is take the loud sound that we have in our chest voice ooh, and try and take the volume that we have there right to the falsetto. So I'll do an example and then you follow along. So fingers here, breath, and then ooh. So just the high note going to falsetto and then back to chest voice. So we'll keep going up. Let's get started. All right, let's keep going up. Just follow along with me. Okay. Very cool. So we'll do a few more. So I just want to point out that your chest voice should be, you know, a medium volume. It shouldn't be... Because what we're trying to do is carry the weight from the chest voice right up to the falsetto. Do a few more. Actually gets much harder. What about one more? Alright, so that's about it for those exercises. And what I want to highlight to you is that if you do both of them, you know, the one that was descending and the one ascending that we just did there, the chest voice to falsetto, within a few weeks, your falsetto will definitely become stronger and then it's going to show up in the songs that you sing. So the way you approach the falsetto in the songs is going to be really good, just like the way we practice it in the scales. So that's it for today's vocal tutorial. I hope it helped you. If you've got any questions at all, make sure to leave it in the comments and I'll check it out and I'll respond. All right, so subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.